Hello YouTube, it's Ms. Fantastic, and this is part two. So I want to talk to you about the two things that kind of snapped me out of my whatever it was and got me back on track. I watched two really good videos this month. Um, one was by Beth, By the Time I'm 50. And in her video, she talked a lot about being the perfect lap band patient and following all the rules and trying to be good and be successful and be viewed by herself and all of you out there in YouTube land as a successful laugh band patient and what that meant. And when I was watching her video, I realized that's exactly what I've been doing too. Um, I have lost the weight I have lost flat out by trying to be the perfect lap band patient, by following my surgeon's rules to the best of my ability. I mean, there were times I intentionally went off track, but for the most part, I lost the weight I lost by following the lap band rules, period. So, this month, I quit following the lap band rules. I gained back 10 pounds. Um, so, a couple of things I learned from this experience is, <sighs> And I'm going to get to the fact that I'm not at restriction. I'm not at restriction. But um, what I learned from this experience is you could lose the weight anyway, even without being at restriction and without doing it, having the lap band, frankly, because I'm not at restriction. It's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. And so I can lose this weight by following this cookbook formula. These rules have helped me. These rules and you, YouTube. The accountability and the support I got there, um, those things have got me to where I am today. And it taught me that when I get off track, like I have this last month, I can get back on track easily by going back and following these rules again. That feels great. And I love that. I'm excited about that. And I will use that for the rest of my life. That's wonderful to have that tool. Um, but as her video pointed out to me, there's more to life than that. There's more to life than being this perfect patient and having this, you know, being 100% on track all the time. Life isn't like that. It's not going to happen. There's going to be times I just don't want to do it anymore, like I did it this month. Um, and I need to continue to work on the mental part of the journey and the emotional part. Because I'm telling you, one thing I know about myself that I've learned in the last couple of weeks or months is I am definitely an emotional eater. Definitely, beyond a doubt. I eat because I want to eat. I never eat because I'm hungry. I only eat because I want food. And I want food to meet my emotional needs. I got to keep working on that. The second video was done by Jen, CNJ 1977. And her video led me to take a proactive uh, stance. And her video talked about um, people who have been really, really successful. Um, but what she doesn't understand is why they're taking so long to get to restriction, why their doctors take so long to get them to restriction, um, and why some people aren't even bothering to try to get to restriction. Um, what she was saying is, you got this lap band for a reason. And that just triggered me because, yes, I did. I paid cash, and I got it for a reason, and I want it to do what it was designed to do. I am not at restriction. Um, I have an 11 cc realized band and I am currently at 10 cc's. Um, but it was 9.5 as of Thursday and then I got 0.5 put in. So as of Thursday it was not at restriction. I have no idea if I am now. Um, I can tell you after watching her video I started questioning myself and where I was at. And um, I know I can eat and do sometimes choose to eat two or three cups of food. Um, I do not have to cut my food into small bites. I eat regular size bites and I do not have to chew my food carefully. I just chew it and swallow. So a lot of other people out here when they're talking about their restriction, you know, they can only eat a half a cup of food to maybe a cup of food. And then the band is doing something to stop them. They have to chew, 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 or the band does something to stop them. Um, they have certain foods they can't eat, like breads and pasta, or the band does something to stop them. My band doesn't. 
Uh, so I decided to make a concerted effort to do everything in my power to have my band start doing that. Um, so I went in for a fill. I don't know if my band ever will, to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you another scary thing that I did. I read a video. <laughs> read a video. I saw, no, I read a post on lapbandtalk.com. And on the post, um, this person said that they had seen an interview done with the Realize Band people. And they said in this interview that their band, the Realize Band, was never intended for restriction. Like it's not going to ever give me restriction. That freaked me out. Um, tons of people commented back to this post saying that they did have the Realize Band. And yes, they do have restriction. <laughs> and so I'm like, well, okay, I hope it's possible. Um... But I will tell you right now, I don't have restriction yet, and I'm at 10 cc's. There's only one cc left. I don't know that I'm ever going to get restriction. If that's true, I've still lost 120 pounds, and I need to keep it off, which means doing all this middle stuff to keep it off. Um, so that's where I'm at. I mean, I got another fill, 0.5. I'm at 10 cc's. She said she could see me again in six weeks because I'm going to take it all the way to the top. I'm going to get a fill until I feel restriction, and that's all there is to it. Um, I don't want to be overly tight at all. The minute I have one sign of that, I will get an unfill. I'm not looking for that. I just want my band to say, oh, Kim, you've ate a, a cup of food. You're done. It's not doing that. That's what I'm looking for. Ugh. Watch the time because I'm not doing a third video. This is it. So anyway, that's what's been going on with me. Still fighting the fight. Um, it's been an awesome week, obviously. I lost seven pounds this week. I'm doing great. Kept up with the exercise the whole month. Even though I slacked on the food, I have continued to work out and work out hard. So that's been great. Um, I don't know yet what my new goal is going to be. I, I'm still toying with 130, but I'll be honest, I'm not driven to get there anymore. If I get there, great. I'm still moving down. My goal right now is I want to be in the 140s. Let's see what happens when I get there. So that is five pounds from now. Um, I will try to keep making videos, guys. I'm going to I'm gonna make another one next week. I do better when I make videos. Plus, I want to do a video next week showing you guys my tree because I have an awesome new Christmas tree. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.